back to the channel. Oh my gosh, guys. What a day it was for the Master Universe on Mattel Creations Revealed. I gotta tell you, I was super stoked at seeing so many of these new figures being teased for 2024. There was just a lot of things that happened on this day, including, of course, the sellout of Cyclone. I hope everybody was able to pick up their Cyclone, guys, because he was up for a good two and a half, three hours. So it's not like we didn't have our chances. But as inevitably as it always is, some people were at work, some people were just too busy. It happens. It happens. And unfortunately for those poor fans, they're not going to be able to get it outside of the secondary market. But what was revealed today for the cartoon collection was extremely exciting. Now, we've seen most of these as teases, but very, very fuzzy pictures. So it was really hard to tell what we were actually going to get for the cartoon collection. And we were not disappointed in seeing more teases. There was nothing actually concrete announced today, but I was still excited at seeing clearer pictures of some of my favorite characters who are coming into the line. And I want to take a deep dive in this to see exactly what was, once again, teased for the Master Universe Origins cartoon collection. Let's have a look, guys. Well, guys, day one of Mattel Creations Revealed has ended. And, guys, I gotta tell you, as far as Master Universe was concerned... <laughs> What a day it's been. Holy crap, everybody. A lot of the events that happened have already been crossed off the list. 11, 10 a.m., Masters of the Universe. The Master of the Universe Origin Cyclone figure has sold out. It took about two and a half to three hours, I believe, but it eventually was finally sold out. And I really hope everybody was able to pick up this version of Cyclone because, honestly, he looks incredible. They showcased a lot of his features in the event, and I gotta tell you guys... He really is worth the $25 that was advertised for this figure. Congratulations to everybody who was able to pick him up. And unfortunately for everybody else, this is crazy. He's going to go on the secondary market. And we can already see people are already listing him for $60. Some of them are listing him for $90. Because unfortunately, Cyclone has since sold out. The Mattel Creations will continue tomorrow, Friday, March 22nd. But I was really impressed at what we actually saw for the cartoon collection. We had some confirmations, which I'm super excited for. Let's have a look. One of the main features that they showed during the revealed event was Justin Rash and his wife. The main principles for Stump Up Animation and, of course, some of the great work that they've been doing over the years for Master Universe. Within this little segment, there were some clever teases which were presented, giving fans a glimpse at what's going to be happening with the brand new Master Universe cartoon collection, as we can see here. That's right, guys. They showcased every figure that's already been released in the current Waves 1 and 2. And they were clever enough to insert and continually tease additional figures that we've been expecting and dreaming for in this particular segment. Starting with Tila from the, original, from the second wave, He-Man, then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, bang! This, <laughs> this was the biggest thing I was hoping for, anticipating for, wishing for, and they f did not disappoint. Oh my gosh, everybody. Yes, indeed. There is Prince Adam and Cringer. Holy crap. This is absolutely ridiculous. This really was a dream come true for many of us, and I wanted to take a deeper look into this and see exactly what we can ascertain from this one shot of this video, because honestly, there's a lot to take in here. Take a look, guys. There he is. There is Prince Adam, who we had a fuzzy look at in the teaser image on the official Instagram page for Master Universe. But now we get to take a much closer look. There he is looking very stoic. And he does actually have a very different appearance than He-Man. It seems a bit more eh, thoughtful, I guess is the word I would use. Even though obviously it is He-Man with a lighter shade of skin tone. I love the way they made the vest. It looks amazing. Very reminiscent of the Master Universe Classics Club Grayskull version might actually be some sort of inspiration for this. He does have that pink vest, the white inner shirt, that lavender lederhosen, <laughs> the purple loincloth, and of course his purple boots with white trim. He really is looking very much like he did in the cartoon series, just jumping off the screen. I love it. But 
the really big feature here, which we only got a small, small tease of in yesterday's teaser image, is Cringer. Wow, look at Cringer. Holy crap. Honestly, it's been far too long since we actually got a Cringer. As a matter of fact, the only Cringer we've ever really gotten, toy versions, has literally been Master Universe Classics Cringer, who came with Queen Marlena. And that was more of a statue. This one, this is a fully articulated Cringer, and he looks spec freaking tacular. Oh my gosh. Look at this. He has head articulation. He's got neck articulation. He has multiple ports of articulation on all of his legs. He has a waist articulation as well. We can't really see it very well here, but that will be very evident in the next couple of shots. He has ankle articulation. He's got multiple points of articulation, probably taken inspiration from Mondo and probably even from the Master Universe Masterverse Battle Cat. This is insane. Obviously, Cringer is not Battle Cat size and he is the appropriate size. But what really gets me, of course, is his facial expression. That, my friends, is Cringer. The little scaredy cat who could never really muster up the courage to actually go and defend the castle. He really was that kind of scaredy cat. And I love the little snaggle tooth. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, guys, we're actually getting Cringer into the collection. This is beautiful. Taking a little bit of a different angle here, we can see just how big he is compared to Prince Adam. And it's so appropriate for this size. I mean, Cringer, even though he's a pretty big tiger, He's nowhere near the size of Battle Cat, and that really is the differentiation between these two characters. I love it. If we look over here, we can actually see, yes, guys, Cringer can actually sit down. That's how articulated Cringer is. Oh my gosh, that is so crazy. Look at him there. I love the fact that he can actually sit down, bar none. All the other Battle Cats and Panthors have never been able to sit down the way this Cringer does. And I love the way he can arc his neck up. And if we look at this scene, even though as fuzzy as it is, we can see that Prince Adam and Cringer are sharing a tender moment. I love it, guys. This is so great. Literally everything I was expecting to see for Cringer and Prince Adam. Beautiful. And this is just a wonderful scene, seeing all of the current and future waves for Master Universe cartoon collection here we can see tila stratos at the very top there beast man skeletor facing off against he-man we can see man at arms in the background there trap jaw merman cringer and adam and we can even see evil lynn this is crazy guys i can't wait until we get all of these guys into the actual collection moving further into the video we can see the team setting up this shot for the photography for the master universe cartoon collection and take a look at this oh my gosh here we see another wonderful scene where we really can see the size relationship between adam and cringer cringer when he gets up on his hind legs is actually pretty massive holy crap and we really can see all the articulation in the legs it's absolutely beautiful there you can clearly see the waist cut this cat can move I really do love the head articulation and the neck articulation. Honestly, this is probably one of the most articulated, posable felines that's ever been released in the Master Universe. I know a lot of people are probably going to challenge me on that, and I'm, I welcome it, guys, because this is something I'm very, very excited for. Here we can see Roy Juarez posing out He-Man and Cringer. Such a wonderful scene. I just love it. There we catch a glimpse of Evil Lynn, and everybody's taking their turn posing Cringer. It's just amazing. Roy Waters goes on to talk about how he's working on the packaging design. So excited for that. We can see the Havoc staff here. And look who it is, everybody. Yes, indeed. Taking her into focus. There is Eva Lynn. Oh, my gosh. She has the shaping staff. And again, her overall attire is very much the same as Tila, but with those wonderful purples and blue colors. I love her headdress, Tiara. Just so reminiscent of the way she looked in the cartoon. And her face. Now, this is a very early prototype face for the most part, but if it's anything like Tila's face, I think we're in for a real treat here, guys. The shaping staff is probably one of her included accessories, and we did see in the teaser image that she has another staff, probably her signature wand. This is absolutely incredible, guys. We're getting so many cool characters in the cartoon collection. And finally, ending it off, we see a full panoramic of all the figures, Merman, He-Man, Evelyn, Cringer, Adam, Beastman, and what a way to sign off on the Cartoon Collection, guys. This is amazing, and I can't wait until we see what else is in store 
for us in 2024. Wow, guys. Oh my gosh. Honestly, the Master Universe continues to impress. And it truly is one of those times where you feel like something you've been waiting for all your life has finally come around. I have been waiting for a cringer, not a battle cat who takes off his armor because that's just way too big. No, I've been waiting for an actual, fully articulated cringer. After all, the, the only cringer we've ever gotten, realistically, was the one from Classics who was included with Queen Marlena, and he was basically just a statue. He couldn't sit down, he couldn't actually do any sort of articulation, he couldn't even you know, really be the cringe that we wanted him to be. And this one, oh my gosh, this one looks like everything I've ever wanted, plus some. It does scare me a little bit to say that Cringer and Prince Adam are probably going to be a deluxe set and probably going to be offered on MattelCreations.com. Oh God, please no. Or at the very least, they're going to be a exclusive somewhere. Maybe Amazon, maybe Walmart, maybe Target. I sincerely hope it's not Amazon because that would really suck. So guys, let's cross our fingers and hope that this is a full-scale release, which I really hope it is. But even then, we still have Eva Lynn, who looks absolutely incredible. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. Are you hoping for another three characters in the cartoon collection? Zodak, Fisto, who could it be, everybody? I'm really excited to find out who it's going to be. But let me know in the comment section below, who would you like to be released in the cartoon collection? Or is the cartoon collection just not doing it for you and you really want them to just finish off the original Master of the Universe Origins line as they really only have a few figures left to go? Let me know those comments in the comment section below, guys. If you enjoyed this episode, please do leave me a like. It really does help me out. And if you're in the position to help out the channel, please consider checking out my Patreon page. It's Mega J Retro on Patreon. Guys, the patrons and channel members of this channel help me make wonderful episodes every single week, and I couldn't do without them. They are the best. Thank you so much for your support, everybody. It really means the world to me. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> we have the power, everybody. We have the power. And Mattel, keep bringing out the cartoon collection because it really is hitting me right where I live. Good journey. Geek proud.